You're doing well for yourself, I see. Star locker room vibes. <laughs> the legend graces us with her presence. I like my decor to reflect my personality, which is abrupt and impatient. What do you want, Justine? I want to talk about Psycho Sally. What about her? She eating solid food yet? So hard, aren't you? She is. She's eating solid food and she's back in the ring. Good. Good. So long as she stays out of my way. I'm sure she will. I can't imagine she wants to lay her eyes on you again. You hurt that girl. Not just physically. I wasn't... I had to show Rhea. It's a brutal world, and Sally had to learn that the hard way. The hard way? Being the woman she trusted most in the world, beating her within an inch of her life on national television? Unless you're looking to learn a lesson in brutality yourself, get to the damn point. She's on NXT this week in her first televised match back. I thought you might appreciate the update. I can report back if you'd like to know how she's doing. Sally was in the wrong place at the wrong time. I regret nothing, but I don't wish her harm. Let me know if she's okay. Huh. There is a little of you left in there. Same person I've always been, Justine. Maybe. I'll let you know how Sally does. Get ready for the untamed and unashamed Psycho Sally. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada, Psycho Sally. It's time to get psycho, Corey. I wish. For a person who calls herself psycho, Sally had better find that edge or her opponent tonight is gonna send her right back to the asylum. Here comes the heart of Chase U. And representing Chase University from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Thea Hill. Having come straight out of high school to NXT, Thea has made it clear she doesn't want her youth to define her. Yeah, Thea Hill wants to prove that she really is a grown woman who can hold her own. And that means no more waiting, no more asking for permission. Time to stop being a student and start teaching lessons. Thea Hale is a true ball of energy with endless potential. She's been living up to that potential and is ready for the next level. Well, time will tell if she's got the aggression to get there. Psycho Sally still seems to be searching for herself out there. It takes a long time for the echo of betrayal to finally fade, Michael, both physically and mentally. She needs to find a way to silence that and get her head on straight. Or else, one of these days, her opponent's gonna knock it right off. She's got something wicked in mind. Oh, double knee arm breaker. Things taking a turn for her now. Yeah, and this is the hostility Thea wanted to bring. Oh, that might have just broken something. Oh, dropping down all their weight. Just breaking down the opponent. Uh-oh! Suicide dive! Took a massive risk, but it might have paid off. What a response from Sally. Momentum going back to Psycho Sally's corner. She got tired of being pushed around. Now wants to push the advantage. And now gets tossed into the ring. A running hurricane 
Serrata. Beautiful. You have solidified your name as a top athlete when you're able to pull off that move. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. DDT spike. Placing them into the corner. Oh, wrist lock up to the top rope. Right in the chest. What a drop kick. The fatigue is setting in for her. Yeah, Psycho Sally reminding her opponent she's not someone to take lightly. Look at this. This is outrageous athleticism. What a head scissor takeover. And Sally is keeping the match at her pace. Hale has to turn this around and quick. Boom, straight for him. Is it enough here? Gets the shoulder up instantly. She's still got a lot of stamina left. Nice Japanese arm drag. Ooh. Oh, a step up in the area. Not so fast. Hurricane Rana. Good grief. It's incredible the inventiveness we are seeing on display here. Nasty kick to the face. She covers for the pin. Kick out. She still has life. She just will not go away. Psycho. Uh oh. Fighting back with a counter. She might be in some trouble now. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. Now check this out. What athleticism for the win. Two count fights at it too. Now is not the time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. Taking head over heels. Incredible pressure being put on Thea. Hale has to turn this around and quick. Oh, this, this may end it right here, right oh. now. Canadian Destroyer. Cover. Two. Kick out. She still has life. What does she have to do to put her away? I'm asking myself the same question. I have no idea. She's pushed into the corner. High risk area up there. Prepare for some breathtaking athleticism. What the hell is going on here? And send the cover for the win. Got it. No, just a two. Getting dangerously close to ending it all there. Is up with the cutter and the rope saver there. Psycho Sally sending a clear message here. At this point, this is incredibly ill advised. You're in the middle of a match. Oh, and she turns it around. <laughs> Kick to the body. Running start in a oh, neck breaker. Highly spirited attack from Thea Hale. She is never short on intensity and determination. Oh, Thea caught by the counter. Four. Here we go again. Standing Spanish fire. Are you kidding me? Incredible. Looking for the victory. Two. She did it. She picked One. The inexperience factor coming into play for Thea Hale. She might want to hit the books before her next match. Hey, Carly. How's it going? How's it going for you? Great win out there, but honestly, you didn't seem like yourself. Not very, you know, psycho. Honestly, psycho is looking a little aspirational these days. 
Right after I started training, I saw this match Cap had with La Suspira. This war. They climbed up and started fighting in the balcony. Cap catches her with a kick to the gut, looks out at the crowd, and she hits a freaking Canadian destroyer off the ledge like 15 feet down through a table. It was absolutely psycho. And it was all in the world I wanted to be. Aw, oh, that sounds insane and fun. And the kind of stuff you should be doing right now, Sally. Maybe. But I can't stop thinking about how the person who inspired me so hard took me out of action for weeks. You can't let what Cap did get in your head. <laughs> now she tells me. <laughs> Listen, we've both been kicked in the teeth by adventure recently. What do you say we turn it around and give a little back? What you have in mind? Psycho Sally, I just won a match by straight up cheating. Held my opponent's tights. One, two, three. And you know what? Tell me, tell me. It felt like taking back control from all the Caps and Rias of the world. Let's feel that way together. You want to, like, be a tag team? Actually, I already jumped way out on a limb and got us booked in a match with JC Jane and Cora Jade. You booked me in a tag match without even asking me? You know what I call that? Ugh, a poor choice that crossed your personal boundaries? Freaking psycho! Let's go get crazy, Carly. It's Psycho Sally, the maven of mayhem and madness. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first, from Las Vegas, Nevada, Psycho Sally! Recruited by the legendary Justine at WWE tryouts, Psycho Sally has been lighting the world on fire in NXT. Lighting fires is a serious red flag, Saxton. Seriously, it's on all the lists of deviant behaviors to keep an eye out for. No need to check your watches. It is prime time. And her partner, Carly. Some of the best athletes from the toughest sports in the world try their luck in WWE and run right back home with their tail between their legs. Will you stop it, Corey? Carly is not the type to run from any kind of fight. Will Carly be the next crossover success story or a forgettable blip on the WWE radar? Oh, here comes trouble. But also, here comes one of the top young talents from NXT. And from Tampa, Florida, JC Jane. Jane is the multiple time NXT Women's Tag Champion, co holder of the longest reign in that title's history. And we are only seeing the start of JC Jane's dominance. Jane brings a certain fire to the ring every time she competes. And she has attitude to spare, ready to make her next big statement tonight. The generation of Jade has begun. And I don't think it'll ever end. And from Chicago, Illinois, Cora Jade. Cora Jade has called herself the savior of the women's division. Look, Jade isn't here to play games and make friends. She's here to face the best of the best and take them down. 
She certainly doesn't suffer from a lack of confidence. to see the toughness of Cora Jade on full display. Well, she showed up with a kendo stick, so we get it. She's tough. They are brought together by a common enemy. Now we find out if that shared betrayal is enough to propel them to success in the ring. Yeah. Both Carly and Psycho have looked a bit vulnerable as of late, so it's not surprising they're looking to pair up and get the targets off their backs. Unless they end up just putting two targets right next to each other. There's a Canadian Destroyer! Wow, I am not exaggerating when I say careers have been ended by less. Oh, look at head scissors. Boom! Head scissors DDT! She's on unsteady legs in the corner. Needs to recover. Oh, right to the body. He wasn't tough enough contending with one opponent. Now you got to deal with two. <laughs> Driven down. She gets the tag. Ooh, what a damaging blow. She manages to get control. And what a burning lariat. JC Jane pausing to soak up the adulation. Oh, a double knee face buster. And a drop kick. Picture perfect. That unraveled on JC. to the mat. Shining wizard! That's right, Corey. That was a shining wizard. Clearly hoping something nefarious is beneath the ring. she looking for under the ring? Boom! Oh, boy, come on, not the chair! Got their opponent set up! Oh, from behind, that'll give you some whiplash. Ah. Saw it coming. Look at this, this is outrageous athleticism. What a head scissor takeover. Straight brutality coming right at you. Ooh -hoo. And these attacks are spelling nothing but trouble. Disqualification. The old foreign object. Well, they always say cheaters never win and winners. Wow. That was pretty psycho out there, Carly. I know. That felt freaking incredible. Did you hear the sound the chair made when it made contact? Wham! Do you think it was really necessary to hit anyone with a chair? Was it necessary for Cap and Rhea to do what they did to us? Easy, easy, I'm on your side. We were amazing together. We should, we should, we should get a tag title opportunity. Oh, I mean, that would be nice, but we've only had one match. That's why. That's why we need to attack Isla and Alba. Wait, what? Yeah, we attack the tag team champions. They're bound to give us a title shot. That always works. Sure, we could also ask. We should make a statement, just like Cap and Rhea did. We can show the whole NXT locker room, the whole WWE, that we are not going to be pushed around ever again. I mean... Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's go absolutely psycho on them. Maybe no chairs, though. I make no promises. Another successful tag team title defense for Isla Dawn and Alba Fire. 
Hold on, that's Carly Prime and Psycho Sally. And they're attacking the champions from behind. What's this all about? Carly and Sally are the new team on the block. Maybe they want to establish themselves by going after the champs. It's worked before. When we see the dark duo of Alba Fire and Isla Dawn, we're looking at a team who's hungry and on the hunt for victims. When you call yourselves the Unholy Union, you're not exactly mentoring rookies. This team's not just dangerous. These women possess a power that has the capability to level the entire women's division. Fire and Dawn threaten to unleash scorched earth. And if they have their way, it can very well happen tonight. And remember, we're going tornado style here tonight, which means we won't see any tags in this one. Everybody's legal. Back into the ring. Oh, a step up in Zagari. Right, right in the kisser. Tag it into the floor. What's she going to do? Shades of the OEC dub as a kendo stick is introduced to the proceedings. And Sally is countered. She's staying elusive. A little cockiness here from Dom. Not what you want to see by any means. Just muscling up their opponent. What a gut wrench powerbomb. I don't know what they're looking for here. Uh oh. I don't know what she has planned with that kendo stick. At this point in the matchup, obviously, this superstar's thinking, I don't know what the hell they're thinking. Moves outside. What's the plan here? She'll take things into the ring. Oh! Climbing to the top rope. From way up. Look out below! No matter who you are, when you crash on the floor, a searing pain races through your body. Battling at ringside can be very unforgiving. You have to be careful out there. No protection out here. No safe confines to speak of. Those are folding chairs, but they can also fold you in half. Oh, my God. Steel in hand and begging to give her opponent a taste. Able to evade. Oh, didn't see that one coming. Great strength being shown here. Don't do this. Don't do it! And there was some force on that move. Oh, boy. To the announce table now. Oh, uh, yeah. Gonna clean it off here. This is gonna be dangerous. We knew this superstar had a mean streak. We didn't realize that they were down there ruthless. Fight is so close to our announce table. Yeah, I'm just gonna step aside now. Hey, wait for me! Carly messing with him, clearly trying to force an arrow. <laughs> Caught an elbow to the gut for that effort. Just continuing to dismantle their opponent. She's fighting back. Holy, meet the barricade. She's getting something from under the ring. And she's pulled out a steel chair. That could be an equalizer inside the ring. She's calling for it. Range down an elbow retaliation. Counter, and now there's an opening. A little cockiness here from Don. And what need is there to go looking under the apron like this? Oh, if you're going to grab a kendo stick, you better be prepared to use it. Bang it back with their own cover. Chop block. Brilliant. Right in the back of the name. Very impressive array of strikes. It's a loot. Face first. Uh, set up. It's locked in, the Koji clutch. Well, this isn't gonna win the fall, but it... She is trying to break out of this. Ooh, an elbow does the job. And it looks like she wants to take this match outside. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Oh, what a close line. Forcefully delivered. Butterflies beyond. Nice butterfly suplex. Barley messing with him, clearly trying to force an error. Taking this one back to the ring now. Just disrespectful. She was having insults. 
assault to injury. And now she's looking to go top rope. Look out! Diving foot stomp. Brutal. Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable athleticism. Dawn messing with him. Clearly trying to force an error. What a response from Sally. She is queuing it up again. Standing Spanish flyer. Are you kidding me? Incredible. She wants to take this one outside the ring, it seems. Carly messing with him. Uh-oh. You gotta be kidding me! Just a devil-may-care attitude on full display. Going for broke, and it pays off. And she denies Prime. Hoisted over into the gory special. Standing precariously on the announce desk. The gory. Perhaps thinking something else here. Not sure why, though, Michael. She seemed to have it really cinched in. A running hurricane Rana. Oh, I hope they back up. They're, they're getting too close for comfort. Oh, no one's paying attention. Are we about to see it again? Standing Spanish flyer. Are you kidding me? Incredible. And a unique splash. She's rummaging around under the ring here. Thrown back in under the ropes. Good night. There are plenty of ways battling in this area. It could end in serious harm. The fight is being taken to Iowa. Don's being systematically worked on. Oh, oh wow. Rendered unconscious. The official has to call it. Guess you heard? Damn right I did. What did I tell you? We beat Isla and Alba down an instant title match. Yep, worked out just like you said. And it felt so good. Cap and Rhea, they're really onto something. Brutality, brutality is the way to success. It's like a shortcut. It is, it's a shortcut, Carly. An electric shortcut. I feel so powerful. No, no you don't. You feel like a bully. And that's not power. That's Cap and Rhea's kind of power. Uh, yeah? After what they did to us, isn't that what you want? Maybe at first I did. At least a little bit. Now that I've tried it, I realize it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit me, and it doesn't fit you. But... We got a title opportunity. And we are going to go out there and do crazy moves Alba and Isla have never seen in their lives and beat them in the middle of the ring. We will fight every bit of their fire with fire. We will go psycho. Hell yeah. But what we won't do is anything like Cap and Rhea, because they're not psycho. They're a pair of lunchroom bullies. That's not brutality, that's weakness lashing out. And we are not weak. No, we're freaking not. So let's go win the tag team titles and prove it. Our tornado of thrills, a whirlwind of wrestling. Psycho Sally. It's time to get psycho, Corey. I wish. For a person who calls herself psycho, Sally had better find that edge, or her opponent tonight is going to send her right back to the asylum. It's a must-watch fury. 
with the up and coming Carly Prime. Carly Prime is the prototype of a blue chip athlete. And we've seen them come and go how many times over the years, Saxton? Running around in the grass is not enough to make a WWE superstar. Corey, what's the champ's mindset right now heading into this huge title defense? Confidence is key, Cole. They have to remind themselves that they are the absolute best WWE has to offer right now. The moment they doubt that is the moment we could very likely see them get picked off. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall and is for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers, the team of Psycho Sally and Carly Prime. And their opponents, the team of Isla Dawn and Alba. The WWE Women's Tag Titles are up for grabs here tonight. This is sure to be a momentous match. You would expect this to be a colossal challenge to the reigning champions as they go head to head against a pair that is becoming the most brutal force in the business. But these two tag champions are here for a reason. I doubt they're going to get rattled by Carly Prime and Psycho Sally's antics. It's more than just antics, Corey. These two challengers have shown they're fully capable of making just as much noise fairly as they do outside the rules. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. Oh, running drop kick. Knee strike. Uh-oh. Cover by the champ. Great officiating as the rep noticed she was on the ropes. Champion's in trouble. The numbers game shows no mercy to anyone. Wrong power. A power bomb like that will leave you with bruises and remind you of this moment for days. And Isla falters there. Tag made here. Oh, this is going to be bad. Right across the chest. Those two are in such a cohesive rhythm out there. It's like playing jazz, but using your opponent as the drum. A well-timed dodge. And Alba got bottled up there. And she dodged that one nicely. And Prime reverses. Drop kick. It hits the mark. Oh, just turn that around. Quick exchange, reversing the reversal. Shoulder tackle. Yeah. 
Into the corner now. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Double big back body drop. If the champions want to keep their titles, they can't allow any more of these double teams. Just driven into the mat. Champ taking the worst end of the exchange. Yeah, Psycho Sally reminding her opponent she's not someone to take lightly. how to truly work as one. Oh, nasty flipping senton. Look at Carly taking in all the energy from the crowd. Ooh, she hit the corner hard. Walk way up top, way up top. This is not gonna be good. I don't think I wanna watch this. Pulling out all the stops in hopes of bringing home the championship. That's still a quick kick out at this point. And she denies Prime. With the goal ball. She is just desperately trying to fight out of it. Caught with a punch. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Focusing on a body part, picking it apart. The arm's as good of a place to focus as any. Going after the arm here. The champ targeting that arm that the challenger can defend or strike. We're gonna be in a hazardous situation. For the title! The pin doesn't even last to a count of one. She is still very much in this. Dominating shoulder tackle. Able to get there in time. Close line. She's getting back up, but she might be down again soon. No way. Suicide dive! That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Shoulder tackle. Tossed into the corner. Rowdy combo unleashed. A wind up and a thunderous double axe handle. Uh-oh. Up and... That was awesome. The champ's eyes look glazed over. The cover! And there's the save. Oh, that hurt right in the kidney. Golly. Uh-oh. Oh, and suplex. A bad place to be for the challenger. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. She's able to get the tag by the skin of her teeth. Oh, stomping away. Pulled back into the hip toss. And misses on the springboard. Reciprocating the initial reversal. Ooh, dropped right on their face. What a response from Sally. Oh, a step up in Zagari. She's got 
battle in her sights. On the middle row. She comes up empty. Challenger eating up some damage. Gets tagged in. Dominating shoulder tackle. Counters. Sweeps the legs. Crushing double stop. Promise on display. Series of reversals. Draped across the top rope. Flying four. Four to the face. Oh, nothing fancy about that. And she denies Prime. From the middle rope. Oh, she misses the mark. Nice takedown, stacked for the pin. She pops the shoulder up in one. This is where great cardio makes all the difference, helping you stay alive deep into the match. Oh, hey. oh. Rolling elbow right on. For the championship! Able to stop the pin count here. This isn't the result Alba Fire and Isla Dawn thought they were destined for. Put that match in a museum or a textbook so future teams can study to learn this craft. Hey, partner. How you feeling? Uh, like I just learned how to fly? Tag team champions? How's that for Psycho? Absolute madness. Ooh, that's not a bad team name. I was thinking Psycho Prime. Prime Psycho? Hmm, possible. We'll workshop it. Ah, <sighs> gold suits you, Sally. When we started down this road, you looked like you were about ready to call it a day. Now, you're on fire. Maybe I was. Kept messed me up, but she also taught me something. Brutality! No. Resilience. I'm more unbreakable than I thought. Hmm. We got the titles. We can go where we want. You're thinking Cap and Rhea. Mm-hmm. Me too. Thing is, I have this feeling those two are not in a long-term partnership. I'm just gonna sit back and enjoy watching them tear each other apart. For now? For now. <laughs>